In the series of rolled rudiments, you're going to experience a variety of different numbers, like a five-stroke roll, six-stroke roll, and so on. This is an example of a seven-stroke roll, and much like a five-stroke roll, it's an example of a roll that you could split the number in half and round up to the next number to give you an indication of how many motions by your arms you can do in this roll to make it right. If you take the number seven and you divide it in half, you're left with three and a half. And if you round it up to the next number, you get four. That creates you to have four motions with your arms. And this roll does not alternate. It begins on your right or your lead hand, ends on your left hand, and will restart again on your right hand. Right, left, right, left, or one, two, three, four. And again, much like the five stroke roll, your first series of notes are going to be the rolled portion and you're gonna tap the last stroke. So an example of a double stroked seven stroke roll will sound like this. It would also be helpful to maybe lead off your right hand and eventually go back and practice it leading with your left hand as well to strengthen both the sides of your body. Just as well, you can go back and buzz this rudiment. So what you would do is you would buzz or close your roll for the first three motions and then tap the last one. It would sound like this. So just remember in the seven stroke roll, three motions and a tap at the end, and whatever type of roll, open or close you'd want to play, you're doing the right amount of motions to create that seven stroke roll.